Is that it's a thingy? A tele thing. My telecommunicator. Been installed at last with no small amount of complaining by that antiquated boatman. The others have no idea what it's like to suffer as I have. Ooh. It's another teletexy thing. It's a excerpt from the travel journal of a whaler in his final years. Ooh, I guess he died. After more than a quarter of a century, I am done with boiling, too broken to continue. I've seen all the corners of the aisles and made more coin than most men see in a lifetime. But it's all gone. I spent it all on cupcakes and a chips ahoy. Oh my goodness. I've lived with the emperor and watched his daughter take the throne. Fair young empress she was, but slain so young. Everything beautiful comes to death. I've eaten every port. I've eaten in every port of the known world and sailed in the loneliest waters you could imagine. I've seen the cliffs around Pandasaurus, uh, Pandi, Pan, Pandessa, and I guess Pandessa, Pandessia, Pandessia. Anyways, even the best of it doesn't even give me an ounce of joy. The years come back across my dreams as the line of the butchered bodies, long, sleek, and singing among the waters under the. Moonlight, oh, they're so beautiful. Only to be speared by ugly, weather scarred men who'd knife each other for a good pair of boots. That's why you don't wear any. Each year I had less time to come home. My tongue forgot the language of small chatter, and those who lived in the cities thought me odd. My sister Nina hardly knew what to say to me during our visits. Then she lost her business to the Lord Regent's crooked. Oh, no, we didn't. I was 100 miles east of Morlai. Gaff hand frozen from the sleet, and we traveled to the first bull whale we've seen in months. I helped her as much as I could, but Nina died in the early days of the plague. Oh, none of it mattered. If I'm jaded and bitter because this industry has taken away my dreams, the world has beaten me. <gasps> like a salty fish. What's this? Is that another one? Oh, it's the first one. My sister Nina and I left Tiberia together, I guess, saying goodbye to our aunt, the woman who had raised us since childhood, leaving behind our home city of Yarrow in the cold but beautiful white landscapes we had always known. We boarded a ship for Dunwall. Our parents had left us with a sizable inheritance, and we spent half of this getting to the capital city and establishing a small import shop dedicated to furs. Once I helped Nina establish the business, I was free to pursue my dream. Signing on with a whaling ship was the most exciting thing I've ever done, and I saw it as a means to an end. Someday I would captain my own crew and eventually own a fleet of similar vessels. With tears in her eyes, Nina kissed me farewell, and I did not see her again for many months. As an apprentice to the, ga the gaffer, I got to see the, traf the tracking and killing of the great beasts up close. Nothing had ever fired my spirit so as a wind and pounding waves raced across a wounded whale being pulled by a skein of cables embedded in its thick flesh. I changed more in those first seven months than I had in the previous seven years. Whaling was beginning to put its mark on me so that Nina barely recognized me when I returned tanned and lining with muscles. Weather crease already wrinkled the corners of my eyes, but she could see that I was filled with joy having found my purpose. My purpose. What's this at? Mm, I close that. Make sure no one knows that I really took that. Okay. Episode from a book of the naval history. While each other, the Isles had s some form of naval fleet. None of it was more in um, envy than the crystal with its long, proud history of great ships and the admirals who commanded them. Boys come of age in the cities of Crystal, hoping that someday to captain such a ship. Uh, the family dynasties are made by those captains who track down in famous pirates or crush um, uprisings as during the Morley insurrection. The times of the war and peace, Crystal continued to innovate at sea. The ship designs of Aton Skarlov, Skor, Skorlov, oh. himself are now present. The highest standard in the whaling trade allows crews to hail their kill up over their deck and begin their butchery and processing. Even as the ship 
returns to Dockwell. Crews can be seen working on their latest whale as the ships move slowly up the river, um, coming to dock with one of the most powerful uh, warehouse companies such as the the Greaves Whaling House, suspended in the rigging overhead and backlit by the setting sun, and the silhouette of one of these creatures makes a moving city as it cruises to its final resting place in the industrial heart of the capital. Oh, poor whale, there's money! What's this thing you do? I think this is still... Seems we've moved to a new phase. Martin's improvisation. Oh my gosh. The former bodyguard has been freed. Harpoon songs. I think I might skip that. Oh, oh somebody's here. It's a maid. Oh, I can talk to her. Hi. Hi. You must be Corvo. How did you know? I am Lydia, at your service. Your room is upstairs and ready. Oh, I thank when you. When they told me who it was, well, I thought you'd be older, mm. like the Admiral. <gasps> Do I look old to you? I should probably go talk to them first before I continue venturing this far. Oh, there's a bathroom! Traffic is forbidden from landing in the distillery district. Due to There's risk a toilet? Violators will be taken to the flooded district for treatment and rehabilitation. Ooh, that doesn't sound like fun. Go down there and talk to these guys. Let me get behind the counter. Hey guys! We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. That's Corvo. me! I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like oh you. Oh my gosh. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. Pendleton! I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. So We've got I. big plans. But we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us. Don't you have a gun? Help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. Or but I've before already. Before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. Who is that? Challenging at times. Is it a violin? But his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be craft clue. Piero is an inventor who, an inventor who is able to craft and upgrade equipment. Piero, since most of his time in his workshop, Samuel, the boatman, has smuggled you across. Oh, I already know that part. Okay. The gear you'll need. Go talk to him and then get some sleep. We can talk uh. more when we're ready. Oh, that's somewhere else. Good to go. Monster. You know what? I'm gonna take that stuff. Yeah, it's mine now. Mm-hmm. Yep. Ah. I won't ever see it again. Hello? Didn't I see this from up above? Anything back there? No. Okay. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Dunwall citizens. What do I? <gasps> there is the violinist. Yeah. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear, all custom. Work. Oh my God! It's a doctor from Team Fortress too. Tools master What's he doing? No, this cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is running. Ah. Oh. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please? What's wrong with this one? Let's put it in there. Oil's unstable. When it explodes, there's a terrible mess. Ugh. Oh. Might come in handy for later. A map? Star chart. Ooh, that might come in handy. It's a vice. <gasps> oh my gosh. Can I close it? There we go. Okay, now he won't know that I did anything to it. It's a book. Oh man, there's so many books in this game. An excerpt from Piero Joplin or Juplin or Havlin, I don't know. It is through no fault of my own that an average citizen has expressed a preference for 
the elixir over my formula, sold as Piero's Remedy, a name I did not choose, if you must know the truth. The public has spoken its usual message of idiocy, spinning their coin as means of selecting Piero's formula over mine, which I believe to be equal, if not superior. Much has been made of their popularity of these um, concortions con as a means of resisting this remarkable new plague. I say remarkable because this strain works with an efficiency we have not seen in the history of the Empire. This plague, now making its way across the city of Dunwall, is unrivaled in its effectiveness. I have studied it within the blood of those so afflicted, and it's nearly perfect. Elegant, in fact. Oh my goodness. It's like silk. It does like silk. And while it is true that Piero's remedy and the elixir are known for, to protect the body against the plague equally, my own has priorities, properties, properties. Sorry, not fully understood, which relate to the mind itself and the spirit. Is the way that my formula wins out here. Is one should say should pay attention to the contest for you to see the elixir, emphasis on the brute animal body in a crass goob better suited for livestock. The subtle and secret and the key ingredients makes up Piero's remedy ensure that it works to the higher functions that separate mankind from its mindless blue jawed hagfish swimming in the- <gasps> I got called a hagfish earlier! Maybe this is a really short one. Piero, no, I will not sign off on these purchases. A bag of powdered crystal? Or what's wrong with the metals in Gristoff? Oh my gosh, if you need feathers, sacrifice your own pillow. No, you didn't. You do not know that King's King Sparrow feathers are about make you sleep at night. It's all comfy. It's like resting your head on a giant fluffy marshmallow. Maybe at the cavity everything you needed was paid off by a tariff and handed out willy nilly. But this is my bar, and what's left of it, and we're operating on a budget. We're running low on oil, food, elixir, building materials, and everything else. So you've got to just slow it down, buddy. Take a step at a time. While I'm footing the bill, I will not approve your purchases unless they're absolutely required. No more copper, wire, or special herbs. If you need these things, go out and scavenge them yourself. Half the city is in ruins, and no one is going to miss any of the odd crap you seem to need. Well, that wasn't very nice. What's up here? Oh, this is where the other oil is. What's that symbol? That looks weird. It's a book! Oh my gosh, it's another book! Ah, There's another book! And another book! This is a lot easier, I can just listen to that. The Academy teaches that absurd idea that the energy in whale Ooh. oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure in the cold are too much to endure without it. I speculate that a human being might by a process. I guess I'll read these. Oh well, refined station! Sakhalov no longer has the upper hand with regard to the supplies of whale oil. The good admiral has paid for the installation of my own station, which will enable me to work in this place. The oil tank dispenser, which activated, will produce an empty vessel for filling. When the empty tank is held near the oil tank refill pump, the magnetic attacher should take the tank and lock it in to correct um, configuration. Using the lever will begin filling the process. Once filling is complete, the tank can be removed and placed in service. Extreme caution must be used in handling the full tanks. They are quite unstable. Oh, this is what he told me earlier. Adaptation produce high energy humors in the Wait. body. Try dropping. Oh! I can build a tank that would slowly increase pressure on a subject Wait, for a long it. period I'll plug of time. It in. No, I don't have it yet. Hold on. Just get it See near the formulation. The there. The there you go. Ooh, no, no, no. I failed at Fall of Goober. No, 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 Goober. Okay. Uh, bring it down there. 